Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2023 Bowman Chrome Baseball. Brand new release, just dropped today. This is Hobby Edition, 12 box Hobby Edition. Pick your team two. We can all keep learning. That's right, Rex. You can learn that, uh, that we do our group breaks and set them up in the right way. Definitely, definitely learn, lessons learned today. All right, there's the final list right here. If you got spots in the Bowman Chrome Pack, I mean, or if you say Bow Chrome Pack right there, that means you won those spots in that filler we did. That's in a separate video. All right, let's pop this open. Appreciate it, Eric, yeah. Let's see, you don't have to worry about how we, how we do things. We, trust me, we have we have enough people backseat quarterbacking our business. But just kick back and relax. Eventually, things will happen. All right, two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. Right. Good luck, everybody. Backseat driving, I think, was the proper phrase, and Monday morning quarterbacking. Mixed up, mixed those two phrases together. Maybe we should raise prices. Prices are too good, maybe. All right, so there's two autographs per master box, right? So each mini box should have an auto. And all card ship. You think that we should pay Michael some more? He's really good. Well, if you, uh, if you keep buying into breaks with him, that shows you that that shows us how good he is. Not just being charming on camera. Here's Logan O'Hoppy to 100. It came to the league. I think the main, who are the main, uh, who are the, I had that, I had that list printed out somewhere. There it is on the list. Uh, we're, the main guys we're looking for, Ethan Salas, I think is by far the biggest name for the Padres. We're looking for him, Brandon Maia for the Yankees, uh, Yoendri Vargas for the Dodgers, Felnin Celesten for the Mariners, Samuel uh, Basayo for the Orioles, Raymer Arias for the Giants, Carlos De La Cruz for the Phillies. So yeah, among among others, but all card ship, those are some of the some of the key names that we're looking for as well. It's gonna take me a, a minute to figure out how these guys look. There's, so there's Yoandri Vargas, that's his Bowman first. Got a Francisco Alvarez, rookie refractor to 499. So the Drew Jones and the uh, and Justin Crawford are not the Bowman first. They were they they already came out. But looking for parallels and autos for him, obviously. Those are the keys. That'll go to the Yankees, Matt Smith, and uh, Tom Guidos. To 499 gets that Francisco Alvarez refractor. And this Vargas goes to Kyle and the Dodgers. I think no relation to 
no relation to Miguel Vargas, but from the same city as Albert Pujols, David Ortiz, and Juan Soto. Some good pedigree there. Josue De Paula. Another one of the Dodgers. Good prospects there. And we've got some Paul Goldschmidt. Gold? Gold Goldie? 16 out of 50 for the Cardinals. That's for Kyle. <clears throat> All right, box one, next box. Well, the only way you learn is you keep cooking, Eric. Wait, there were no autos in that box. What the heck? Gonna be something we're gonna have to <clears throat> we're gonna have to contend with today. Somewhere in here, there'll be there'll be some uh, there'll be a box with an extra auto or two. some better success in this box here. There's Tanner Beebe to 499 for Cleveland. That'll be for Henry. There's an auto. It's Emmanuel Torero. 19 out of 25. Orange auto going to Tristan and the Pirates. Nice. Got some solid penmanship there. Yeah, looks like it's got some pretty good credentials there. Came to the league, had the Rushman Refractor. And we got Matt McClain. Nice, rookie green, 76 out of 99. He's been having a solid season this year. That is for Shane and the Reds. We got a Davison De Los Santos, green shimmer to 99. And we've got for the Brewers, Abner Uribe. Bowman first autograph for the Brew Crew. That's gonna be for the Porterhouse Steak for Darren. Christian Yelich, blue, 102 out of 150.
What if they go against their guarantee? The first case was shorted three autos, really? Yeah, I'm not sure how much recourse that we actually have. It's the same thing when, if we get extra autos, you know, if we, if we demand autos that are guaranteed, I don't know, then we get to a slippery slope where we, uh, where we would have to send back extra autos that we get if they over guarantee. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to do it the other way. Everyone wants, uh, wants the autos, but when we get extras, no one wants to send that back. But I mean, we can we can ask our distributor for for an extra box, maybe. Oh, I'm 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 fine poking the fanatic bear. We, we we poke that bear all the time. Jordan Walker, rookie refractor to 499. I always tell them, hey, you guys are like buying buying all these licenses, buying a, buying a points bet, a lot of deep pockets here. You know, like let's let's pass some of that along to us. Here's Marcus Lee Sang for the Phillies. That one is going to go to Rob, who won that team in the uh, in the filler. And we got prospects process Elijah Green to 150. I think he's one of the, one of the bigger prospect names in that organization. That's going to be for Adam Kupperman, who got the uh, got the National straight up. There's Josh Young, purple to 299 for the Rangers. That'll be for Brandon. Hey, you're welcome, Eric. Glad we can help. Nine out of 75, Michael Garcia. And that's for Michael and the Royals, last bot mojo. Oh, were they? That's good. Yeah, usually with damaged cars, they're they're a lot more. Here's a uh, Dairo Laverde, atomic refractor autograph of the Halos, William with the Angels. They're 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 usually pretty good about about taking care of like damaged cards. Michael, this is uh this is. Uh, Bowman Chrome, baseball, hobby, pick your team two. Right on, it's, uh, it's on the schedule. Maybe you don't have that schedule. Let me drop that for you. I do my best to update that schedule frequently. That way, that way I know what's coming up and you know what's happening. So you guys have all the information. Right on the schedule, Mike. It's coming up right after this. But check that schedule. That schedule is very, very useful. Especially when we have, when we have some breaks backed up. It also has a shipping tab there that'll let you know what the status of your of your break is. Is in the sorting process, is in the ship process. If we have promos going on, we have a promo tab there so you can make sure your name's in there if you want a spot in a promo or something like that. 
less important on there is is the Joe's Picks tab, where, where I tell you, give you my picks for entertainment purposes only. But the schedule can be skewed. Yeah, I mean that's that's that that might just scratch this. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna be doing breaks with Derek Jeter anytime soon, but that's uh, that's that's the scratching of the surface of what what uh, of what fanatics can do for the hobby. Okay, Sean, all we, already with the come on Diamondbacks auto. I mean, we've got all these boxes still left. We've got a, maybe until the last two boxes we haven't seen anything yet. Is Luis Torres to 250. Do not despair yet. We've got plenty of boxes left to go. I like that Harry Ford refractor. Um, he is a Mariner, I believe. That's to 499. Mariner? Yeah, he is a Mariner. Um, looks like these players are not attached to, are not attached to their team. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, those flag refractor variations, they'll go to the team that they are currently on. And if they are not on a team, well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. If they're not, if they're, uh, you know, in their respective home countries, baseball league or something like that, and not attached to a, a baseball team, we'll just randomize those. There's Oswaldo Cabrera to 299. There's Carlos Correa to 150. And there's a Drew Jones, Bowman Ascensions. Right here, I think that's another box that just had one auto in there. I think it was just this one. Next box, hopefully more autos. Was that Angel's Auto for William? Was that in the second box? Hello. 
All right, there's Dine Jorge, 89 out of 199. That's for the Rockies. There's Emmanuel Bonilla to 199. That's for the Blue Jays, William. And we've got a Paul McIntosh autograph for the Marlins. That's for Michael. <laughs> yeah, Rex. You know how much Nolan Ryan loves uh, to make public appearances and go on live streams with kids and rip open baseball cards. That seems on brand. He loves just being out there, putting his face out there. That's, that's his favorite thing to do. All right, Christian Vasquez is a twin. And that's to four ninety nine. That'll be for Adam and the twins. So just as a quick note, the World Baseball Classic flag cards are going to go to the team they are currently on. If we find a player that's not on a team, we'll just collect those as one lot and then um, and then randomize it to one person in the break. I'll get some of those extra those extra cards. There's Juan Benjamin, Juan Benjamin, 91 out of 299. Speckle for the Guardians. That'll be for Henry. And then we've got Cade Hunter, 190 out of 499. It'll be for Shane and the Red Legs. Yeah, I was glad that someone convinced him too. I mean, I, I feel like, I feel like before, you know, after living a long, long life, I don't want to wish ill upon Nolan Ryan, but you know that, that he'll eventually put his, put more of his story on the table, more of a biography. I guess maybe there is like sort of a biography element to facing Nolan, but. There's a more comprehensive story of the strikeout king. You know, I think that'd be would be pretty interesting.
His beef and spice line? No one Ryan has a beef line or in a spice line? There's Nicky Lopez to 499 for Italy. I believe he is a royal. Yeah, he's a royal. That's gonna go to Michael in Kansas City. Here's a Marco Vargas. Green chrome for Miami. That'll be for Michael with Marco. Huh. So we'll be even closer in Texas. Well, of all the things you want to know about Nolan Ryan, you want to know about his beef and spice thing? <laughs> I think it would go as follows. I had a ranch with cows on it, and someone said it'd be a good idea to sell beef, and so I did, and I made money. There's Hans Montero to 125. Oh, Jazz Chisholm, the refractors here are numbered to 499 for the fish. That'll be for Michael. And we've got a Clark Elliott. Elliott. That'll be for Joe and the A's. I mean, unless Nolan Ryan has a has a real passion for beef and the and beef production, <laughs> it's like if that was a passion, second just second to baseball. I suppose I. If that's a part of his life. I suppose I do it. I just feel like. I just feel like someone just told him to put his name on something, and make money, and he did. I mean, how much of a. a Hour and a half documentary should be should be uh, should be reserved for uh, beef and spice. In the quarter of the documentary, should we put? That would be Rex's documentary. If Rex Flix was producing uh, the Nolan Ryan documentary, it'd be like, tell me about your ranch. <laughs> That's where I retired. No, not, not deep pressing baseball questions, no. None of that. Tell me about spices. Here's a Luis Almeida. Two out of 75. Number 20 prospect in the class pipeline. For the O's, Joshua Lucas, Orioles. And we've got a Luis Perales. Who's gonna sign down there, I guess. He's like, I don't <laughs> With all this nice, clear, blank space here, I don't wanna ruin that. I'll put it right down there. Just painting the corners, ladies and gentlemen. Just painting the corners. That'll be for the Red Sox. That's going to go to Matt Smith. So Corbin Carroll, it came to the league refractor. It came to the league. That'll be for Kayshawn and the Diamondbacks. Got Brian Acuna. Two ninety nine speckle. That's that's gonna be for Adam and the twins.
There's a Jacob Reimer, 143 out of 250. That'll be for the Mets. That's going to go to Tom. And for the Rangers, we got Daniel Mateo. Bowman first autograph going to going to Brandon with the Rangers. Got the Rangers straight up. We got Welbin Francisca to 499 for the Guardians. That will be for Henry. And on to the next. So we're just a little over halfway there. We've got one, two, three, four, five boxes remaining. Good luck. doing here there's, there's a baseball game on watching MLB post tonight post game I want to watch Dodgers Padres bottom of the first and I think the Padres are already up up one what's happening here A, looks like a Juan Soto solo shot off of Ryan Pepio gave, the, gave them the lead. Although Ryan Pepio had three strikeouts. Struck out the first two batters, allowed the solo shot, and then struck out the third batter. In the bottom of the first, Betts singled, stole second, Freddie Freeman lined out, and now Chris Taylor's trying to maybe cash in the run. Thank you, SC. Appreciate it. Appreciate that. Limiting it to a solo shot. Where's Juan Soto going? I think his he's going into the last year of his contract, I want to say. Or is there another year of arbitration? I have to look that up, I forget. But I think it's one more year. He's a free agent after the 2024 season. I think the Padres get an extension done in the offseason? Or is he going somewhere else? To 499, there's a Oswaldo Osorio for my Dodgers. Wow, led the team with in the number 34 Dodgers prospect right there. That will be for Kyle and my Dodgers. There's Drew Gilbert. Those shimmers are not numbered. And we've got a gold Brandon Maia. Nice. I think he's one of the key one of the key guys we're looking for. That's for Matt Smith and the Yankees. Nice yellow parallel, which are usually the 75. Yeah, there it is. 10 out of 75. Yeah, agreed term of the Yankees at age 17. MLB Pipeline's number nine international prospect for 2023. Nice. And Joey Votto gold to 50. That'll be for the red Shane with the red legs. And Shohei Otani for the Angels. And we've got Christian Mena for Brian and the White Sox. Won that team in the filler. Right, 
sixth rated White Sox prospect, corner of Baseball America. Very nice. Otani, of course, to the Angels. That'll be for William. To four ninety nine. There's a Bowen Ascensions, Corbin Carroll for Kayshawn. I like this vibe here, this insert vibe. I dig it. So the Maya and the Christian Mena. And onwards to the next box. What else is happening in uh, in baseball here? The Yankees at Red Sox postponed due to rain. I guess they're going to make that up tomorrow. Marlins shut out the Brewers 2-0. Royals beat the White Sox 7-1. Wow, Jordan smoked a home run with an Astros record. 117.7 mile per hour exit velocity. That's pretty crazy. Astros beat the uh, A's 6 to 2. Mark Vientos taking Zach Allen deep. Mets beat the Diamondbacks 7 to 1. Bobby Grossman going yard in a uh, uh, for the uh, Rangers. Maybe they shut out the Blue Jays ten to nothing in Toronto. T.J. Friedel tripled against the Tigers. Reds beat the Tigers four to three. Oh yeah, the Braves clinched their division today with a win over the Phillies. Braves beat the Phillies uh, four to one. Brian, Brian Reynolds uh, fouled off, hit a homer off the foul pole. Pirates beat the Nationals seven to six. I'll look up some, go through some more scores in the next box. All right. Onwards, we've got some Aqua coming up, and it's uh, Jader Arinamo. 108 out of 125 for the Brewers. That'll be for Darren, the Porterhouse State. Adon Sanchez, Shimmer. And we've got Ludwig Espinoza. For the Cubbies, that's gonna go to Rex and his Cubs. Rex, what's this guy about? He agreed to the deal with the Cubs in January at 17. He's your number 14 international signing prospect and pegged as the 28th best prospect by fan grabs. Shortstop. There's Javier Rivas. 299 Tristan with the Pirates And we got an orange auto 10 out of 25, Luis Perales. Red Sox, Matt Smith with the Red Sox. And that's another Nelson Velasquez to 499.
and uh, that's a royal. Three boxes to go. All right, next one. All right, um, where do we leave off? Uh, Cardinals shut out the Orioles, one nothing. The Richie Palacios home run was the only run in the game. Mariners uh, edge out the Angels, three to two. Teos Hernandez, two out, infield single, puts the M's on top. In extras, Giants beat the Guardians, six to five. Giants walk off on Lamont Wade Jr., sack fly in the 10th. Chris Bryant homers for the second day in a row. And against his old team, the Cubs. Rockies beat the Cubs 7-3. Randy Arzarena's 448-foot dinger gives the Rays a lead in the ninth. Rays beat the Twins 5-4. And we're going into the bottom of the second. In Los Angeles, that's the only active game right now. Padres are leading the Dodgers 1-0 on a Juan Soto solo shot. Yeah, you know, now Rex was saying, I don't know much about that Cubs auto that we pulled a moment ago, but that's what's great about Bowman sets because we start learning about all these new prospects. We start looking out for them in the future. That's what this Bowman stuff is all about. Poor Jason Dominguez with that elbow issue, but hopefully he'll be back strong. There's a Joey Estes. That'll be for, for that's for Joe Medeiros. Joe with Joey. I remember there was an old, what was the old Giants pitcher, Sean? Was it a Sean Estes? Shane Estes? Back in the day? Felt like there was another card underneath there. There's Gio Urshela. 38 out of 50. Gold. Um, Gio Urshela is an angel right now, isn't he? Gio Urshela is indeed an angel. And then we've got a Pirates Auto, 14 out of 75. That's Axel Blas. And that's going to go to Tristan and the Buckos. Wow, book second highest average in the 2022 Dominican Summer League. Had a 1487 OPS over 13 June games. Wow. Maybe him and this guy might be part of a core of the Pirates' young future. There's Edwin Solano to 150 for Adam and the Nats. Boxes to go.
We got an HCA case coming up after this. If you take a look at the schedule, and then another another break after that, I think. And then, how are we doing orders wise? Just two orders coming in here. So if you want to keep breaking after a bit, we can do that. Ed P just picked up the Rockies in choice two, and Justin got a few spots in that immaculate baseball break. But those are the only two orders I have. So if you want to keep breaking with me, then, then let me know. Remember, I'm only on YouTube two nights a week. Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So if you want to, if you want to break with me, now's the time to get your orders going. Otherwise, I'll see you on Sunday, Monday, or Thursday on the Fanatics Live app. For those of you who have that app, they, uh, I think they made a bunch of recent updates on that a day or two ago. So be sure to update your app. They added replays. Corbin Carroll, iconic, and a Bobby Wood Jr. green to 99. Royals, that'll be for Michael. We got Luke Gold for the Tigers, Michael P with Detroit. Number 19 Tigers prospect according to MLB Pipeline. You got a Carter Young, Speckle to 299. Corbin Carroll rookie card. We got Alfredo Duno, 184 out of 199. For the Reds, that'll be for Shane. And a Kenny Gomez autograph, nice. 461 out of 499. That'll be for Rob and the Astros. Astros were one of the bigger teams off the board, or on the board, that we gave away in that filler. Number 24 prospect, cornamlb.com. Nice. Astros have a pretty strong farm system. There's a Drew Jones. Refractor for Kayshawn and the Diamondbacks to four ninety nine, and the last box coming up. What else is going on in Major League? I feel like everyone's just waiting for like the last two weeks of the season to happen and finally, finally see what's happening. You know, see where the playoff trips lie. I guess the Max Scherzer out for the regular season. No surgery necessary though, probably out for the playoffs too. Which, I mean, Rangers moved a lot to get that guy. They're not gonna get him for the for this stretch run or in the playoffs. 
Marlins is Sandy Alcantara has a sprained UCL. Doesn't sound good either. Walker Bueller apparently detailing a decision not to uh, try to play in the 2023 season. He said he did score through two scoreless innings. Physically felt good, but it's just the recovery part that's tough. Yeah, he thinks he's got close. I mean, a lot of times, yeah, that makes sense. The actual act of pitching is not necessarily the hard part coming back from injury. It's like, how often can you pitch? How quickly can you recover? You know? Blaze Jordan to 299. And we've got Dario Barrero, 53 out of 99 for the White Sox. Brian K won that team in the filler. He gets the green auto to 99. And we got a Bobby Wood Jr. Green, 31 out of 99. That's for the Royals. That'll go to Michael. We got Jun Suk Shim, 241 out of 250. And we got a Jordy Vargas. Bowen first auto for the Rockies. Stephen Carney with the Rocks. Final auto of the break. Ninth ranked Colorado prospect. Tristan has the Pirates. There's Bryce Miller to 299. And that's that. There's a Tetsudo Yamada. Is he on a is he on a major league baseball team? And no. He is an infielder for the Tokyo Yakult Swallows. So this will have to be randomized to one person in the break. So let's do that bit of housekeeping here. Let's clean that up a little bit. Let's gather everybody's names, one through 30. Let's roll, let's randomize it. Two and a three, two and a one, three times. Name on, name on top gets it, two and a one. So that'll be for William. William, you'll get that extra card from uh, that Team Japan player right there. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for Jaspies, and that was your break. Hopefully all of these guys become, become major leaguers, become perennial all-stars, have amazing seasons, win some awards, leads their team to, to postseason glory, become a Hall of Famers, and those cards will be zillions of dollars. There you go, gang. That's why we do this bone. I'm Joe for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.